What is up guys, this is Norm from Daily Fantasy Archive. And uh, last night we had a pretty uh, decent night. Uh, Patrice Bergeron was a pick that I played on um, FanDuel last night. He didn't show up at all. David Krejci and the other players on uh, Boston showed up and really were on far last night. But we had a pretty decent night in uh, DraftKings. I'm going to start posting some DraftKings lines on uh, on the Twitter page. So make sure you guys follow us at DFS underscore Archive. And if you guys are new to the channel, it's the first time seeing uh, the channel watching the videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And make sure you press this bell button under the videos so you'll be notified every time I upload each video daily. And you'll get all the great advice that I give out for FanDuel and DraftKings can be used for both sites. I'll break down player pools. What I'm trying to do is make this uh, a good community for us all so we can have uh, player pools. And I'll study for you guys and break down some players for you guys so... You have less uh, less players that you had to look at each night. Anyways, let's get right into the slate tonight. I think there is 10 games tonight. And um, the goalie that I'm going to be looking at tonight for most cash games is going to be Corey Crawford. There's three goalies I'm going to be focused on tonight. You can pick from either uh, three of these goalies. It depends on what you're trying to run. Corey Crawford is going to be high. It should be high on tonight. The Hawks are 22-8-4 on home ice. They've won 13 of their last 14. The Ducks are ranked 22nd for goals against per game. And they're ranked 20... I think it is... 23rd, I think it is, on the road right now there. And Vegas Odds has them at the highest to win tonight. As you can see, negative 175. And uh, they're on home ice, so this should be an easy win for Chicago. You can go ahead and lock in Corey Crawford in your cash and in your tournaments and GPPs tonight. Another goalie that I would look at tonight if I was trying to not take Corey Crawford would, would be Jonathan Quick. Uh, Quick won both the starts that he's played on home ice this year. He's 2-0-1. He stopped 61 of the last 64 shots he's faced. And the Preds have lost three in a row. They're playing really bad hockey right now. Um, they're 13, 6, and 3 on the road, and it's the second hottest Vegas odds tonight to win. As you can see, LA is at negative 155. So you can go ahead and lock Jonathan Quick into your games too. It depends on what you're trying to pay. I mean, Corey Crawford is uh, 100 more, so it depends on what you think is going to be your best option for tonight. And the next goalie I would look at tonight, if I wasn't going to pick either one of these guys, would be Frederick Anderson. I ran with Frederick Anderson the other night. And um, he played a, a good game. He gave out, he was winning 3 nothing, and he gave out a few goals in the end. But the thing with Frederick Anderson is he usually gets a lot of shots against, and he gets peppered. So, and he's been playing really good lately. And right now, on the Vegas odds, Toronto is third, almost tied for second right now for Vegas odds to win tonight. They're on home ice playing Philly. Philly's an awful team. And uh, last time he played Philly, he had 24 points. And he's coming off a big, uh, big win last night, like I said. He should face a lot of shots. So even if he does have a fluky chance of losing, which I don't see it happening tonight. Toronto's a way better team than uh, Philly. They're way better on the power play. And penalty kill, Philly's atrocious in general. I can't see Philly winning this game tonight. This will be probably a better GPP pick for tonight. I don't. You could run on the cash, but it may be a bit of a risk. It's a 5.5 total game, and you guys know how Toronto is. They do give up a nice few goals at, at times and do get come back down a bit, but it could be a good play again like it was the other night when I told you guys to pick them. And for centers tonight, I'm going to be looking at uh, John Tavares. John Tavares is my first pick for tonight. I'm going to be locking in. He's good for cash and GPP tonight. He's on the first line of first line power plays. They're fav big favorites to win tonight. And Vancouver's giving up 10.5 shots a game. So there's lots of shots going around for centers on, uh, against opposing teams. And in the last two games that he's uh, played, he had 22 and 20 points. And they're big favorites to win tonight. Like I said, negative 143. It is a very high chance that they win tonight. Vancouver is awful, awful in general. They're disgustingly awful team. They're not a very good team. So this should be a good chance for the first line on the New York Islanders to tear it up tonight. And John Avera is having some high upside. Another center that I would look at would be Austin Matthews. If you're not going to be taking um, 
John Tavares, or you could lock him in and find some other value in some other areas. It's going to be a bit harder, but yeah, you could lock him in too. Toronto's big favorites to win tonight. Like I said, Flores are not awful on the road, and they're awful on defense. They take a lot of penalties, and they give up the seventh most goals a game in the league and the third most goals a game on the road. So this should be a good spot for a goal scorer like Austin Matthews and a guy that has a lot of shots and high upside to really go off tonight. And like I said, he has a safer floor because of his total shots that he takes each game. He takes a lot of shots. And the center that I'm going to be locking in, in my lineups, you guys don't need to, you can if you want, would be uh, John Gabriel uh, Pajol. He costs 4.4K. He's on the second line, and um, they're Ottawa's big favorites to win tonight, as you can see at negative uh, 120. They are away, but they should destroy uh, Arizona as uh, they are 18, 12, and 0 on the road. Ottawa is, and Arizona is not even positive at, on home ice, and it's a 5.5 goal game total. And over the last three games, he has an assist or a goal, and in the last five games, he's averaged at around 15 points a game, and he's very cheap, as you can see, at 4.4K for his upside that Ottawa has been do uh, doing lately. They've been getting a lot of goals, and I can see him going off tonight for his price. He could hit some high upside. The first winger that I'm going to be looking at is uh, Philip Forsberg. Um, he costs 7.7K. He's playing L.A. And he's been red hot on fire in 2017. Uh, you can see if you check his game lock, he's been on fire. He had one bad game the last few games. But then the next game he bounced back and had a lot of shots. And I'm pretty sure he had two goals against Montreal. He's on the first line, the first line power play. And, and if anyone's going to score in Nashville, it's definitely going to be Philip Forsberg. Takes a lot of shots, so he has a pretty good floor. So he should be safe enough to run in your 50-50s and in your GPPs tonight. Another winger that I'm going to be looking at tonight, going back to this uh, New York Islanders game. It's going to be a good game for New York Islanders. They're going to definitely destroy uh, Vancouver tonight. Is Josh Bailey. Josh Bailey's on the first line. And he's on a first line power play. He has seven points in his last seven game, and he has high upside. And he's playing this awful Vancouver team, and they're huge favorites to win tonight. As you can see, Nag 143 should be an easy win for uh, New York Islanders tonight. And continuing again with that game, we're going to look at Anders Lee, which will definitely be another good play. This whole first line should go off tonight. They have been going off in general. He's on the first line, first line power play with. Uh, John Tavares, you definitely want a piece of him. If you're not taking Tavares, you're going to want to take either two of these guys or one of these guys tonight. You're definitely not want to going to fade uh, this game because it's going to be lots of goals for the Islanders tonight, I could see. And uh, he's been on fire in general this whole line. If you look at their game logs, they've been playing really good. Another player that I'm going to be looking at tonight is Eric Carlson. Eric Carlson is on the first line of first line power play. They're big favorites to win tonight. At negative 120, as I showed him before, the total is at 5.5. And if you check his game logs and his uh, game logs, I'll show you for um, his go uh, for on the road and home. If you check out his splits, it's a good tool. Even if you don't play DraftKings, you could check out the splits. On the road, he's averaging uh, more uh, more than a point a game, and he's playing better as you can see on the road. Last time he played Arizona, he had a goal and an assist, and um. He had two block shots and two shots. So he went off last game, last time he played Arizona. He should be able to go off again tonight at them being high favorites to win in this high scoring game. And over the last five games, besides, la besides last game, the five games before that, he had, was averaging about over 15 points a game. And he just had a bit of a bad game last night. But I can see him bouncing back really good tonight. And he has lots of high upside because everybody knows Zarek Carlson. He's the top defenseman in the league. And the next player I'll be looking at is Jake Gardner. Toronto's big favorites to win tonight, as you've seen before. I've shown you, and the total is at 5.5 on home. He's on the second line. He's on a first line power play. The Leafs are the second best power play in the league. And like I've said before, the Flyers take a lot of penalties and have blown uh, have a below average penalty kill. And at 4.5k. Looking at uh, Jake, Gar uh, Jake Gardner's price, he should easily pay off his price just alone on the power play with how bad uh, Philly is with taking penalties and on the power play. Penalty kill. Should be an easy spot for him to 
get some crazy high upside that we've seen him take in the last week or two weeks. You've seen him get some crazy high upside. So it should be a good spot for him to pay off. And the last play I'll be looking at is Marcus. Marcus uh, Granlin. Granlin. Where is he? Marcus Granlin. At 3.9k, you can't go wrong. This is going to be... Don't get me wrong. Uh, the owners should win this game. But at, for at the price that Granlin is, and New York owners are awful... On, um, awful on uh, defense and goals against. They've been giving up a lot of goals. He's on the first line, first line power play. And the last time he played them, he had a goal. And the owners, like I said, have been struggling on offense and defense. And he's cheap for the upside that he can have playing along Daniel, Daniel Sedin, Henrik Sedin. He's a very good punt slash uh, value play for the night to get some bigger guys in. If you're looking to, uh, if you're looking to do a Stars and Scrubs lineup, or if you're just looking to do what I did and uh, just average out your lineup a bit more. But that'll be the lineup that I am running tonight. And uh, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. And make sure you hit the notification button so you're notified every time I upload. Let's try to smash 10 likes on this video. I love the support. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. 7 likes on the last video. That's insane. We've been climbing up there in views. And make sure you follow us on Twitter at DFS underscore archive. I'll be posting out later today a free DFS. Uh, uh, I mean a free DFS. DraftKings uh, NHL lineup, and I'll also be posting a free bonus NBA lineup on FanDuel if you guys want to run that line. And have a good day, guys, and good luck tonight.